to forge sub-regional and regional integrated military approach to border security. According to Kenya's Defense Cabinet Secretary, Monica Juma, contemporary security threats are borderless and do not recognize narrow nationalism. The CS was addressing military officers from the nine African countries during the 36th Defense Staff College graduation. Defense Staff College in Karen held its 36th graduation ceremony since its inception in 1983 with strict guidelines of the COVID-19 protocols. The graduating officers are from Kenya, South Africa, Burundi, Egypt, Malawi, Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. But I'm informed that this college is continuously revamping its syllabus in order to eject these types of realism and that you have all been exercised on drawing up multi-agency contingency plans that would help to deal with security scenarios that might arise from such emerging problems. The CS noted the one-year course on strategic studies and leadership management will complete and add value to the military package so as to equip them with the intellectual firepower required to tackle contemporary and emerging security complexities. I wish to express my sincere, impressive appreciation of their depth of knowledge, the confidence they exuded, and the strong indication that the year-long learning in this institution had shaped their perspectives on not just the region's security agenda, but the world and the perspectives that are shaping it, and that it brought to this graduating team alive to the realities of the fluid security dynamics that we have as a country, a region, and the world to confront collectively. She said the partnership that has been witnessed over the years in offering strategic training and leadership management programs will be elevated even further with the newly chartered National Defense University, Kenya. This collaboration has forged a successful program for the exchange of student officers and directing staff. The networks and bonds created in these exchange programs are in tandem with the spirit of promoting sub-regional and regional integration between our countries. I wish to reiterate that the contemporary challenges are borderless and they do not recognize narrow nationalisms. Defence Staff College Commandant Major General Martin Ngongoi said the institution will continue offering the best training to Kenya Defence Forces officers in Kenya and beyond borders. This cultural diversity provides opportunity for sharing rich experience and valuable ideas. This course has therefore become over the years an important part and the process of actualizing regional security and defense cooperation. Timothy Kipnusu, Channel One News.